Thanks, Matt. Um, good morning, everyone. My name is Mary Scarillo, um, and as I usually say, and as I always say, is I'm privileged to serve as head of school of Trinity Hall. Um, and so I welcome all of you here to our leading ladies. This is something that we started as a way, you know, as we began, we're in our sixth year. So now we're, we're um, we have two graduating classes and we have one more this year. Um, but in the beginning we had no seniors. And so we wanted to provide an opportunity um, for our girls to meet women, women models, women mentors. And that's how we started Leading Ladies. So I welcome you today and I thank you to all of the Leading Ladies in this audience for joining us today. So thank you. At this time, we're going to begin with a prayer and our Sophia Hagel, who will serve next year as our scope chair, or president, whatever. But she's our leader from the junior class is going to lead us in the Trinity prayer. So Sophia. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. May the power of the Father lead and protect us. May the wisdom of the Son teach and enlighten us. May the love of the Holy Spirit renew and guide us. May the blessings of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen. Amen. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Colleen, whoops, is it off again? Colleen Kelly, no? Colleen Kelly, I keep, I didn't mess it up, so see, I, I messed up, did I make everyone relax now? <laughs> so Colleen Kelly um, and Patty Fries. Colleen Kelly will be, is our student body president for the next school year. She's a member of our junior class, as well as Patty Fries, who will serve as senior class president. So they will speak, thank you. Good afternoon, and welcome to Trinity Hall's Leading Ladies Luncheon. My name is Colleen Kelly. <laughs> and my name is Patricia Fries. Colleen and I would like to give you all a glimpse of what it is like to be part of the sisterhood here at Trinity. Just project it real loud. When we became students at Trinity Hall's class of 2020, we marked the completion of the school's founding classes, meaning we were the first freshman class to experience all four grades collectively. With this, we had the privilege of observing our role models and big sisters, the seniors, juniors, and sophomores, in their academic, athletic, and creative endeavors. Most importantly, we witness what it means to be a leader, much like how we come here today with the opportunity from here from you, our leading ladies. We are so thankful to have you join us this afternoon. Our school mission closes with, these young women, that would be us, will be empowered to take risks, pursue personal passions, network globally, and grow as learners and as valued individuals. Each of us, Trinity Hall's junior class, holds within ourselves the core values of respect, perseverance, faith, and of course, leadership. As we move into the role of the senior class, we not only try to emulate the leaders before us, but all of you in this room as well. While we look forward to what the future holds, we remember the memories we've made and continue to make as Trinity Hall students and the lessons we've learned inside the classroom. Through collaborating and working together, inside and outside of the classroom, we have been able to create a bond of sisterhood that will last a lifetime. Whether spending countless hours on the field, stage, or during community service, we are more than just a community. We are a family. This family has been through some adversities, including power outages, sharing, sharing lockers with locker roommates, and expeditions to our temporary classrooms known as the modulars in the freezing rain. However, this has never stopped us girls from embodying the monarch tradition. Patty and I stand before you today to not only welcome all of you to an amazing opportunity to network with wonderful and empowerful women, women in our community, but also to commemorate the junior year's first three years and to celebrate the final year in front of us. We have grown so much as a class, and through the years, we have seen how Trinity Hall is not your normal high school. We go through our day-to-day -day while confronting third world issues in solving irrigation problems in third world countries with cardboard models, navigating our world's history, confronting the difficult language of Shakespeare, and always, always laughing in our school hallways, which used to be just one hallway. <laughs> there are many things we should be proud of as a class, and it isn't over yet. We look back to our core values and know that what we have learned here at this exceptional school will aid us in our future undertakings. 
We are so lucky to call such a wonderful place home with this community as an extension of our family. Thank you all again for coming, and we are so grateful that you took the time out of your day to lend us with your knowledge of your journey and passion and your occupation. We hope everyone enjoys their time today. Thank you. So every day I find inspiration in the people um, around me, and today I am confident that you, our students, our juniors, our parents and our honored guests and friends will find inspiration in each other. These young ladies, our junior class, and their student leaders who just spoke, Colleen and Patty, are a hard act to follow. Um, they spoke of community, which is very important here at Trinity Hall, and they spoke about the sisterhood, and they spoke about senior leadership, and I thank them for sharing that. There's a book that I'm just starting to read because as a faculty, we, um, we have summer reading and we have books for the girls, and so maybe the students don't know this, but there's a number of us who are pretty fast readers and we'll collect books and then we'll make a decision. So there's one which I encourage many of you to read, and juniors don't read it yet, um, Dare to Lead, and it's by Brene uh, Brown, hopefully I'm saying that right. But she talks about, um, in this book in particular, about fitting in versus belonging. And I think what's really important about Trinity Hall and what I hear is that the students here belong. They belong to a community. They belong to a family. And that's very different than fitting in. Fitting in means we have to change ourselves in order to be someplace. What we want for our students is to belong and to feel like this is their family, and they do. And, and when they want something, they speak up um, and they stand up. And that's what we want here for our students. So, Today, all the ladies in the audience, share your journey. Um, know that um, we appreciate that you belong to us today and to our students. We thank you for coming, and we hope that you have a very good day. So thank you very much. I think you're allowed to have salad.